prayer. Same prayers. <laughs> Pangilinan. Oh, oh, same prayer. Sabi ko, isa uli ninyo yung airline. Alam mo ang sagot sa akin? Kami. Ano kami sa, sa cabinet meeting? Pabayarin daw ako. Sabi ni Secretary Rio ng DCTI. Kanya magbayad daw ako ng 2 billion utang ina. Sabi ko kay nagalit ako kay tumindi ako si ko tawagan mo yang putang ina mo Letseng Ayala pati. Isa uli nila yan. Bigyan ko sila ng 48 hours, two days. Pag hindi nila sila uli yung putang ina, pupuntahan ko sila sa opisina. Ako ang pupunta sa opisina nila. Kinabukasan, maagang maagang sa buong tawag. Sir, isa uli daw nila. Itong inang bayan na to. Ayawang ko lang kung sinong susunod na presidente nito. Marami siyang problema. Pero ito, tatapusin ko to. Tatapusin ko talaga itong dalawa. Kung, ito, kung hindi ko ito matapos sa uh, magandang paraan, timingin ko na lang dyan sa opisina nila. Ilak ko, tapos sunugin ko yung building nila. Buhusan ko. Oh, I will lock the... Madali lang man yan. And so, I go to prison. Katanda-tanda ko na you know, at my age, death is the least of my concern. You do not ask me na are you well? Are you in good health? Ang sagot ko, Adrian, may tatay ka ba nanay ka? Noong 74 sila, okay sila? <laughs> Kuraw, may sakit na gano'n. Talagang may sakit ako. May sakit ako ng dibdib ko. Pero ito, hindi ko sila papano sa ito. Hindi ko sila papano. Daling ko ito sa Congress. I have to talk to the Filipino people. Hindi nila pinapublish eh. Selected lang. Hindi na pinapublish. Hindi na nalagay sa news. Wala. Kinukontrol nila yung damage. Tapos, ako naman, hindi nagpapaimportansya. But maybe because I, I was the one who was really angry and also because I'm the number one worker of government. Sige sila, ano, padala kung sino ang makausap. Kaya ko makausap, ang, makaka ang pwede lang makiusap sa akin, Diyos sa Sida. Puntahan ninyo sa Bicol. Sige. Mga gago itong putang inan to. Senate President, you listen. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, nagduda ako nito noong nagkaroon ng water crisis sometime in April. Walang ligo yung mga tao. Nakihirap talaga. But somebody told me na may tubig. Kaya sabi ko, sigurado ka. Sabi, sigurado ako. Kagoberno. Sabi ko, so I had to make sure. Tinawagan ko ang MWS. MWSS. Walang tubig, sir. Walang tubig, sir. Walang, walang nag-aagas. There's no water flowing. Yung bisaya niyan. Tapos sabi ko, I took a gamble. Tinawagan ko na, sabi ko, putang ina ninyo. Eh kung may tubig, sabi ng taga-guberno, bakit hindi ko paniwalaan. Putang ina ninyo, pagbukas pagdating ko, pag walang nakatubig na lumalawas yung puking, kumuton ko na inyong naong, kumuton is ganunin mo. Lamukosin ka. Oh, lamutok, lamutakin ko yung muka ninyo yan, isa-isa. And I was really dead set in doing it. Mayroon ang papaya. Pagdating ko, may tubig na putang ina niya. So, bakit ito? So, para magtanong-tanong niya sila sa inyo, that started my curiosity. Anong racket ito 
na paitiisin mo ang Pilipino na walang tubig, ang mga babae nating mga muy na wala na maglapit sa Nalitse talaga ako na itong putang ina, sabi ko mga yawa. Well, may tubig. So that started my quest for why. Ang nangyari nito, there's a contract. It was signed, uh, palabas na si Corey Ramos. And it traverses to to administration. Kay Ramos pati kay Gloria. I'm not saying that the, they are uh, guilty of something. No, no, far from. Far from. I'm just saying, I'm just stating to you the truth. Ang contract with Manila Gas, I suppose that, uh, Manila Water, I, su I suppose that it's the same with Manila because ito yung western part of the Manila went to Manila Gas Ayala. Di po dito kay Pangilinan ang sa eastern side. Ang ma masakit talaga to. Tingnan ko. Sabihin ko sa iyo, masakit talaga. And you can kill somebody for it. Ang contract The water there was not in the contract itself. The water, a natural resource of any country, ang nakalagay doon, it would be treated as a commodity. Itong, this, itong, itong Manila, pati itong Manila water, distributor ito sila, atin yang tubig, that is part of the patrimony of the nation. Ngayon, they, they entered into a contract. I do not know who was the lawyer. Kaya ako binoko si Franke. Tapos may text siya kagabi. Sabi niya, you tell Rudy, I am not a part of it. Kasi I remember when I started to tatanong-tanong na ako about water. Sabi niya, I, I don't know, but I'm sure Drillon said this. Uh, sabi mo kay Rudy, magdandahan siya because we might end up paying billions in damages. Kaya sinagot ko siya, Sineto Drillon, how dare to you to permit to you telling me I cannot review the contract. I will review the, I will go on and review the contract because I have to know what is what's screwing the people here. Pagit may tubig, tapos wala may tubig. So, somebody must be in my <coughs> grabe pa sa presidente. Alam mo in that contract sure na basa mo. Our country surrendered everything to Manila Water and to Manila. Everything, including the sovereignty of... Kasi nakalagay doon, in interpreting this contract, pwede din nga Republic of the Philippines eh. Sabi lang, the Philippine government shall see to it that uh, the operation, the distribution uh, will be uh, secured, blah, 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 blah. And any uh, interruption caused by, the, by a disturbance of government and the corresponding loss that would be created out of uh, a malfunction or whatever, damage to their... Sila ang distributor eh. Magbayad tayo any loss or the losses that uh, they will incur. Babayaran natin. Anak.